Hey, good day guys. I thought I'd uh, record a bit of narration for the first time, uh, try something new and also to put into one of the videos to give a bit of context about this one. Um, excuse the voice, it's still a little croaky from getting over COVID uh, a couple of weeks ago and uh, making some trips in the cold air still probably not the best idea, but hey, had to go and make a couple of videos. Look, so this video is coming to you from Constanza. Um, Constanza is, yeah, it's a beautiful town of ours here in Romania on the Black Sea coast. It's got one of the biggest ports in Europe and certainly the biggest biggest port for Romania for everything to come in and to go out. Uh, so it's pretty strategic. It also controls the entrance to the Black Sea. So I thought we'd come out today because my plan today was to go to two spots. Uh, to go to the airbase, just about 40 kilometers sort of northwest of Constanza, Cogolnicianu, uh, Cogolnicianu um, airbase. So it's an airbase that's still, it's mixed, it's sort of 50-50 civilian and uh, military. And it's where everything's coming in at the moment to Romania. So all the, all the ready reaction force components have come in there. Uh, a lot of the battle group stuff, the proposed battle group will come in there. <coughs> so I wanted to go down and have a look and see what I could see and make some interesting videos. You know, it'd be pretty cool to capture an F-22 Raptor or something coming in. <coughs> but anyway, we got down and the other plan was to come here to Constanza because part of the port area, which you see me walking toward now, going past the old casino, um, the port area here is split into two as well. So. NATO and the US have poured a lot of money into into building it up and giving it extra capacity and capability to house more of a naval component. Um, so I wanted to come down here uh, straight after the air base and have a look at what's in port. <clears throat> so anyway, this is a bit of narration to go with that. So got to Constanza, I'm walking along the boardwalk now. This is the old casino, which has been rotting for many years. It's a real pity. It's a beautiful building. Uh, it was sitting there just rotting away, but they're actually renovating it now and doing it up. Not sure how long it's going to take. It's going to take a couple of years because it was in a really bad state. So they had to prop up all the foundations and yeah, really starting again from scratch. But wow, it's going to look good once it's done. Um, over on the right here, this is a little aquarium. Um, a lot of school kids come here and you know, visit, go through. <coughs> I didn't really want, want to narrate the whole clip because I don't like putting voiceovers and sound on things. I, I just like them to speak for themselves or me talking in the video. But this was just a bit of a strange one because I didn't really know what to call it. Given we went out to look for NATO presence, this big uh, presence to secure the eastern flank and didn't really see anything. So. Um, so I thought I'd give you a bit of context. Anyway, that's that's the map. So that red circle is where we are, where the casino is. You can walk all the way along the boardwalk uh, down the other end to the north. There's a lot of nice restaurants down there around the marina. Uh, you can go even further up, more kilometres up the road to Mamaya, which is the sort of party capital in summer. Everyone hangs out at the beach. Um, so yeah, anyway, kept walking up here because um, normally you can see the naval ships in the port. They're a fair way off, but you can see them. So I was having a look around thinking, gee, I can't really see anything today. And then sort of at the last minute before um, I turned the camera off, yeah, I noticed there are there were some ships in there. You've got to look hard to see them. I don't know how well they'll show up in the video. Uh, but sort of where that guy's walking in the middle of the screen to his left, just to his left where the big cranes are, you can see the radar arrays and the antenna arrays from the ships. So there are about six ships in there. They're sort of tucked away over to the, yeah, the right hand side of the screen. But yeah, I sort of get up close here to have a look and it's only when I looked through the fence in detail that I realised that yeah, there were actually six vessels over there. Now, I don't know which ones are Romanian, which ones are NATO coalition. Uh, the only distinguishing thing you can tell sometimes is some of the Romanian vessels have the slightly darker grey paint scheme. It's that old 
uh, Soviet style where the, there was a really dark grey that they tend to use. Um, whereas the NATO ships and most Western ships have a lighter grey colour. So there were a couple of different colours over there. But yeah, if you can look through here, off to the slightly to the right where those bigger cranes are, that's where they're sort of hiding in there. And there's a couple further to the left of screen. And unfortunately, one of the things with GoPro again, shooting on GoPro, I, I wish it's, you know, they improve the camera every time, the stabilization gets better every time. But one of the things, geez, I wish they'd include a function to be able to zoom on the go instead of having to stop, reset your zoom, shoot, stop, reset your zoom. You know, just the ability to zoom in and zoom out on the GoPro. I know it's an action camera, it's small, it's compact, but that would be so cool. Just to get that in there as a function would be excellent. Maybe it's coming, we don't know. All right, guys, so yeah, this was um, this was down on the boardwalk. Uh, this is getting up the top again towards uh, where we parked the car, my mate Lucian and I. Um, so yeah, probably not the best place to park because it looks like there's a lot of bird activity there. Uh, but yeah, so park the car. Yeah, normally you cannot get a park up here. It's just absolutely this place in summer and probably later in a couple of weeks time there you just won't get a, a parking spot here it's impossible all right guys i'll stop the narration there um let it carry on normally actually no i'll keep going um it's nearly done it's only a nine minute video so this is the mariner down slightly further north from where the casino is there's a lot of little restaurants around it, um, some private boats and things. So yeah, you come down and get some fresh seafood. Just check it, because it's meant to be fresh, but check anyway. And yeah, so I had a, had a meal here, had some mussels, had some prawns. And then I'll just let the camera run in uh, time lapse for a bit to cap capture some of the activity in the background. Um, yeah, nice spot. Nice spot down here. It's got to be cold today. Um, so that's the outside, the terrace where we were. Just a little bit of time lapse. Some activity in the background for a bit of fun. Experimenting with new things. Um, and look, at the moment, you know, I'm all about trying to capture what I can to do with Ukraine and get that story out there. And I was hoping to get some more of this today, but there was just not a lot of activity there. You know, the ships are probably out patrolling. Uh, a lot of the aircraft and that have come into Gogonichanu and moved to where they probably need to go, as well as some of the troops uh, that could be up in the air. But yeah, we're well, all in good time. Uh, we'll see what's happening. But yeah, tragedy all around, guys. So please keep supporting Ukraine where you can. Donating any any little bit helps you know even getting on some of those sites now where you can phone you can phone somebody get connected with somebody in ukraine and just say hello show your support internationally all right wrapping up with the meal there's my mussels there's my crevettes prawns very tiny mussels here we'd probably laugh at those uh, in australia but that's the size you get here all right, cheers guys, stay safe. Let's end this war, pray for everybody over there and uh, multa sanitate.